<laughs> Hi friends, this is MD Vegan. Correct. That's the most important thing of all, right? You agree? Of course you do. Otherwise you will be watching MD Vegan, right? Today there is a celery salad. I have um, a celery here from under the earth. See? And you won't believe how delicious this celery is. You can eat it just like it is, as is. If I have brushed it here with my, with my vegetable brush, it's not necessary to peel it. I try to eat it with the peel, brushed of course, thoroughly, and it's so delicious, so fresh, there's so much water in it. It's so crispy, so crunchy. I had no idea it was so delicious. So I have a quarter of a celery, yeah, a quarter only, cut into smaller pieces, so that I can put it into my food processor. And together with other ingredients, I will make a salad with a horse radish dressing. Yeah, the horse radish dressing is already pre-made, and you can look another, you can watch another video to see how I make it. It's very easy too. It's a horse radish. Um, you have different options how to make it, either with cashew nuts you know, and sesame seeds, or just with cashew nuts and almond milk, and a little bit of um, apple cider vinegar pepper and oil, no salt and dates. Now that's so easy. So that is, or if you don't take almond milk, you know, the almond milk version, you can, uh, without almond milk, you can take water and some sesame seeds. Otherwise, just almond milk and um, cashew nuts as a base. And then the horseradish, not too much horseradish, but you can look at, watch the video, you, you see how I make it, it's very delicious, yeah. Um, and the other ingredients I show you when I make it. So I have my food processor today here, the one um, fitted with the S-blade. That was the, the juice, I had to turn on the juice. <laughs> yeah. So this is the S, no, not the S-blade, sorry. This is a slice here. There are knives on both sides. These are big ones, you know, and these are small ones. You turn it like this, it's big, Turn it like this, it cuts in small pieces in gillettes. And I have different ingredients, and for different ingredients, I can use different strengths, different sizes. At first, I will make the celery root, and I take um, the gillette style, the small. That's the only one. I use the small knives for today. I like the celery cut into some finer strips. You can use it otherwise also, but I like the other one now. So I just easy. You see what how much time this tool would save me. I just begin and it's almost done. Here's what I got. You see, this is celery root, gillette. It is so juicy and so light. Oh, it's the, you can eat it as is. It's, I tell you, it tastes delicious. It's super healthy and it's so crispy. Nice. I'm gonna put the first layer here in my bowl. Now the next. Now I turn the blades around, and you see I have something left over here. I will. Um, what process is it together with the apples. I put it now, I take it out here, turn it around to have the gross blade, the larger blade, so, and I begin again. Once again, same soup, easy story, and um, I put the rest of the celery on top, and then I begin with the apple. See, an apple, including um, 
the, the kernels, the peel, everything is in the apple. No problem. If it's a healthy um, house of the apple inside, no problem. It has to be healthy inside. I show you. This is considered healthy. Yeah, just brown, no more, nothing. So you can eat it. Very healthy, very nice. So I just begin and continue. Result again. You see? Nice thick apple stripes like this. And I will put them immediately onto the onto the celery, Julian. And now I'm done with this. I don't need it anymore. Just easy to wash it with water. There's no fat inside, almost no fat. From the little fat inside the vegetables, I don't talk now. So I put it back. And I will have a, in two minutes, it's all clean. Just out of running water, very easy. That goes aside. So this is what I have now. I have just apple and celery, a perfect match. And together with the horseradish dressing, the horseradish cream, it's even better. Even better, if that is possible. So now, I have some pineapple here. Just a slice, a thick slice of pineapple, cut into smaller slices, I halved the pineapple slice, and then I cut down the slices here, like that they look. This goes in. So I want to have the pieces of, of the, the pineapple really feel touchable in my mouth, tangible in my mouth. So it should be really clearly there is pineapple in there. It's a very nice ingredient together with celery, horseradish and apple. The third ingredient, the fourth ingredient here will be aside um, bell pepper, red bell pepper. And in order to get these small stri strips here, stripes, uh, it's not julienne, it's a little bit like julienne, a little bit thicker than julienne, I would say. I show you how I did that. It's also very easy. So this is some um, segment of the bell pepper, you know, just cut the bell pepper down half, and then you have along the lines of the bell pepper, you have these pieces. And you all you need to do, you can take two of them, put them one over the other like this, and then you take your chef's knife and cut down the small pieces, small stripes. So crosswise to the size of the segments. And then you have these wonderful slices here, put them into my to the to the others, and you already see how nice it is. I show you again. This this size amount I want to have. Now the size matters too in this salad because it's all about texture here. You have different texture in your mouth that makes a big part of the flavor. And the last ingredient is number five, no four, walnuts. It's always a classic with apple, with celery. It's so nice. Just put it in there. Maybe I keep two to decorate on top of three on the salad plate. That's all I have here now. Look, that's this apple, celery, bell pepper, pineapple, and walnut. Five, I was like five. Five ingredients. And it's so easy to make. And now the, the dressing, okay, that has been, I kept that in the fridge. It's pretty spicy, but not too spicy. And it will be perfectly yummy and super healthy my horseradish and you know that is so so healthy like everything from under the earth has such a great quality it's rich in minerals has this earth-like flavor i could put a little bit more maybe and now i toss it in this nice bowl it's very easy yeah. so it's important the size also um, the texture of the size of the other ingredients it's also important in order to allow for the celery julienne's not sticking together because the others will push between 
the Julienne celery. And so you don't have it also um, lumped up in one big lump. Here nicely, everything is nicely even spread. Yeah. That is a, it's, it is also nice to, to have it a little bit everything everywhere. Here, I show you what it looks like. And there's something I'm very looking, so much looking forward to now. Yeah, this is a wonderful combination. And um, there are other variations. Uh, for, to the horseradish cream, that is an amazing dressing. And with the celery, that is such a small piece, goes such a long way, you know. You can use it for several days between, and another day you just take another salad, for example, a cauliflower salad, you take the same dressing, or you make a variation of the dressing, or you have two dressings at home in two big bottles in the fridge. One day you take the one, one dressing, another day another dressing, different ingredients like celery or cauliflower or, or, or whatever you like. So you have a great variety of different salads, very easy to make, combination of the different ingredients, and that is what makes your food so healthy too, the variety. Fresh food, yeah, and a variety. Vegetables and fruit, yeah. some nuts and seeds a little bit only. That makes a whole vegan diet. So enjoy, subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube, have another recipe every single day and we also can chat. Yeah. You can give, ask questions, give suggestions or just tell me what you feel about, how you feel about it, your own experience. I'd be glad to have that.